Here's nine signs that you'll become a millionaire one day shared by an actual millionaire. And hang with me here, because some of this stuff might surprise you. Hey! Joining us is my man, Kiala Kanai. Kiala Kanai, he takes entrepreneurs on a journey to grow their business. All right, sign number one is that you love to learn. You know, it's been said that poor people have big TVs and rich people have big libraries. Now, I don't know if that's entirely true because I know a lot of rich people with big TVs. However, there's a reason that we say that leaders are learners. If you're gonna become wealthy, become a millionaire, you're probably gonna have to learn. Self-educate, because quite frankly, our educational system just doesn't teach this stuff. All right, number two is that you save and invest. Listen, there is no secret to building wealth. There's been hundreds, if not thousands of books written about this. And the basic fundamental principle is earn more than you spend, save the rest, and invest it. And if you're gonna invest it effectively, well, you probably have to learn. Sign number three is that you prioritize your time. You know, millionaires tend to be very good about prioritizing their time effectively because they understand that time is precious. You know, this is closely related to the law of entropy, which without going down a rabbit hole, basically means that anywhere that we are not intent about creating order and organization, we will experience disorder and disorganization in its place. As an example, if you don't fill your calendar with high value tasks that inspire you, it will inevitably be filled by low value things that don't. And if you want to be good at managing money, you've got to be good at managing time. Because if you're frivolously giving away your time to things that don't result in money and wealth, well then you can't expect to have it. All right, number four is that you welcome failure. Millionaires understand that success and failure go hand in hand. You literally can't have one without the other. But most people have some sort of fantasy that they're gonna get success by avoiding failure. And it's just never gonna work. So if you're the type of person that can embrace failure and understand that it's just on the path to learning, well then, you might have what it takes to become a millionaire. Number five, delayed gratification. Listen, you'll never learn how to save and invest unless you can learn how to delay gratification. Most people struggle because they rather do what feels good today at the price of tomorrow. Buying that designer bag feels good today, but it'll come at the price of your wealth tomorrow. Skipping the gym feels good today, but it'll come at the price of your health tomorrow. Most people fail because they choose short-term gain, which causes long-term pain. But if you're willing to endure short-term pain for long-term gain, you'll win. All right, number six, millionaires tend to have clear goals. You know, most people are just not very good at setting goals. They are, they are not clear about where it is that they want to go, so they wonder how they got to where they are. You know, in my business, as an example, every year we have a massive goal for the company, and then we break that down into quarters, and then we break that down into months. Every single one of my teams has a goal. Marketing has goals. Sales has goals. Client success has goals, because that's how you build success. So if you say you have a desire to be a millionaire, but you don't have the habit of creating goals, well, that's not a desire. That's more like a weak prayer without the fortitude to back it up. All right, number seven, and this is honestly probably the most important, that is that you have a high value on money. This comes from a field of study known as axiology. Axiology is a study of value and worth, and through axiology, we can see that every human being has a hierarchy of values. And when I say values, I'm not talking about social idealisms, things like honesty, integrity, respect, fairness. No, those are social ideals. Instead, what I'm talking about is that every day that you and I wake up, there's the things that we value most in our life down to the things that we potentially don't value at all. And what we value most is what gets the majority Majority of all of our resources. Our primary resources are time, energy, and money. The things that we value most in our life are going to get the majority of our time, energy, and money. And however we focus and apply our time, energy, and money will ultimately become our destiny. So if we don't have a high value on money, we won't invest enough of our resources there to ever have it enough of it in the long run. If we don't have a high value on money, we won't love to learn about money. We won't save and invest for long-term wealth. We won't prioritize our time in terms of money. We won't delay gratification long enough to build wealth. That's why everybody knows that the simplest way to build wealth is to save and invest. There's no secret about that. It's just that almost nobody does it because they don't value it enough. There's other things in their life that they value more. You know, going out to that dinner, buying that nice car, upgrading their house, getting that designer bag, socializing with friends, or whatever it is. So if you don't have a high value on money, cash, financial independence, then all the rest of this is just going to go out the door. All right, number eight is that you surround yourself with inspiring social circles. Millionaires tend to want to hang out with other people who are driven, ambitious, motivated, share a similar purpose, are on a similar journey. There's lots of folks out there who are naysayers. When they think that they can't achieve something, they want to tell you that you can't achieve it either. In fact, one of the biggest challenges that I went through when I was making that decision to go from working in a coffee shop for minimum wage to taking the journey that's now made me a multi-millionaire is I had to let go of lots of relationships that no longer served me. So if you 
you want to be a millionaire, then surround yourself with people who inspire you to that end. All right, number nine, and this is a big one, is that you are focused on getting rich, not being rich. Listen, let's be blunt. Most people who say they wanna be rich actually spend all their time fantasizing about what their life would look like once they were rich, rather than focusing on actually doing the work that's going to get them rich, which is all the stuff that we've talked about. It's about learning, it's about saving and investing, it's about prioritizing time, learning to embrace failure, delaying gratification, setting clear goals, shifting your values so that you have a high value on money. You know, surrounding yourself with inspiring social circles. It's actually doing the work of the things that are gonna get you rich rather than fantasizing about being rich. So listen, if you're somebody who's driven, ambitious, and motivated, then by all means, subscribe and hit the little bell notification down below so that you get notified every week when I drop more content like this. And make sure that you watch the next video that's gonna pop up in the lineup at the end of this one, because I'm gonna go much deeper on some of these topics. And in case we've never met before, my name is Kiala Kanai. I'm an entrepreneur that got started while working in a coffee shop for minimum wage, and I've gone on now to build multiple seven and eight figure businesses. I share that with you so that you know that everything I share on my channel comes from the real world applied knowledge of the things that I've learned and applied in order to create those results, which I share here with you in hopes that they help you create similar results as well. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and watch that next video that's about to pop up, and I'll see you there.